Hi, I'm Justin Kay, Field Specialist in Horticulture for MU Extension. I'm here today to touch on the topic of tank washing vegetables and best practices to do so to reduce food safety risks. Although not washing vegetables may be the safest practice to prevent cross-contamination, whereby one contaminated piece of produce spreads contamination through wash water to other produce in the bulk tank, some items may need to be washed to remove soil and improve aesthetic appeal for customers like lettuce and greens. Washing with a sanitizer can inactivate pathogens in the wash water and may also increase shelf life by reducing post-harvest diseases and their accompanying losses. Although not required, using a sanitizer in produce bulk wash water is recognized as a best practice for produce safety. The risk in bulk washing vegetables revolves around pathogens such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria. Sanitizers, however, can inactivate these microorganisms as well as other pathogenic microorganisms and reduce this risk of cross-contamination. It's important to note that sanitizers are designed to sanitize the water and not the produce. This is how they prevent cross-contamination. It's important to always start with potable quality water with no detectable generic E. coli per 100 milliliter sample. You can contact your local health department in Missouri if you'd like to get your water tested. You shouldn't be using any surface waters like ponds, lakes, or streams to wash produce. It's also important to never harvest produce that's visibly contaminated with feces. There's a lot of options available for sanitizers in both organic and non-organic options but you'll wanna make sure that the sanitizer is EPA labeled for use in fruit and vegetable wash water. Some of the common sanitizers are based on ingredients such as chlorine, hydrogen peroxide, and peroxyacetic acid, but there are tools available to help you select a sanitizer. This tool from the Produce Safety Alliance, which will be linked in the description below the YouTube video, details all you need to know about sanitizers, such as their active ingredients, their full label information that includes what the product is designed to be used for and whether or not it's intended for use in vegetable or fruit wash water, as well as all the product information you'll need. There are some variables that affect the effectiveness of sanitizer in bulk wash water. These can include water temperature, water pH, and turbidity or organic load. For instance, you might need to adjust the pH of your water to suit the needs of a given sanitizer. Also, water temperature, when water is extremely cold and produce is extremely hot, has the potential to infiltrate or get drawn into the produce. So you might need to let your water temperature stabilize before you use it in bulk wash water. You want to read the labels for the guidelines on managing the above variables for a given sanitizer. You'll also want to make sure to read the information about mixing the sanitizer and how much sanitizer to add to how many gallons of water to get the appropriate concentration so the sanitizer is effective. You'll want to start by removing soil and organic matter before washing. This can be done with a brush or plain water rinse. It's important to remove excess organic matter because this can reduce the effectiveness of the sanitizer. You want to measure and mix the solution for rinsing with the appropriate concentration provided by the manufacturer. You'll want to then rinse the products in the sanitized water and then rinse the products in fresh water if the label of the given sanitizer requires it. You also want to change the water frequently, making sure that the organic matter load doesn't get up too high in the wash water. And you want to monitor water pH and sanitizer levels and adjust as needed to get appropriate concentration and pH for a given sanitizer. You can also document the sanitizer levels on a log sheet for future reference to know how the sanitizer that you're using is working in the water and whether or not anything needs to be adjusted to improve the effectiveness of the sanitizer. If you have questions, you can contact me at justin.k at missouri.edu. These additional resources are very helpful and will be linked in the YouTube video description below this video.